Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video. I'm just getting ready to do my uh, class for Age UK, some uh, online yoga classes I've been doing for them, which I'm really enjoying. But I wanted to do a really quick post about, um, it seems apt for today, positive mental health. So especially positive mental health, in my understanding of my own journey through mental health, both as a mental health counsellor and someone who experienced depression, panic attacks, all those kind of things, and, and I suppose nursed my way through them quite holistically, having already tools like meditation, yoga, tai chi, qigong, etc. Uh, to hand. So here's a very quick explanation of what I found to be useful for promoting positive mental health. And let's take it from a Taoist perspective. So there's a saying in Taoism that when the storm comes, there's two types of tree that get destroyed. The first is a tree that doesn't have strong roots. So this is the principle of yang. Now, in, in relation to mental health, that means the importance of building physical, emotional, and psychological resilience. So the, the way that we build this on the yang side, if you like, the power side is that we need a reasonably healthy body. You know, especially I find as you get into your 40s and older, it's important to keep strong. You need to do some weights. Uh, there's so much research on this now about how the, uh, the neuro-reactivity to physical exercise, especially using things that increase grip strength, are essential to positive mental health as we get older. So doing things which create strength in the body. So obviously some light weights, some press-ups, something that do, do keeps the body strong. Second, uh, if you like, let's call psychological resilience, psychological strength. So psychological strength in the Taoist yoga perspective is created by something called meditation. What is meditation? It only means to learn to focus, to meditate, to be present to. So we strengthen our mind on the yang, yang principle through watching the breath regularly, through doing a mantra, mantra of course, manas tra, manas mind, tra focus. So mantra is a way of learning to focus the mind. So all, all meditation techniques are, are concentration techniques, learning how to focus, how to control your focus. Third thing is, uh, why am I talking about a third thing? I don't know why I'm talking about a third thing because I haven't done my meditation today. <laughs> so those are the two things, create a strong mind through focus, strong body through some kind of resistance training, something that will strengthen your bones and your muscles. Second thing, so we've got, that's the yang. So we have the also the yin principle. So we if the yang principle is we need strong roots when the storm comes so we don't get blown away through exercise and mental exercise, we also need the yin principle because it also said that the, 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 the tree that is too hard and unyielding will get snapped and broken in that same storm. So we need the yin principle, the ability to yield. So how do we do this? On a physical level, plenty, enough rest. I've, you know, I'm just getting ready for my class. I've done some strength training this morning. What I tuned into my body, what do I need? I need a 10 minute power nap. So I just had a nice yin power nap to be gentle again, to relax again. So this is useful for the mind, learning how to yield in the mind to become, become gentle, how to step back from the, the tension in the central nervous system, how to relax. You know, those qualities are the yin qualities of positive mental health. Physical level, level knowing how to, to rest, how to sleep. So as long as we have these two principles, we could say yin is self-love, self-nurturing. Yang is self-discipline. If those two, discipline and relaxation, are in harmony, we generally have good positive mental, physical and emotional health. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself.